All right, folks, how's it going? Happy Friday to everybody. Hope everybody have a good weekend. Be safe on your travels. Hey, look, I saw this article this morning. Uh, this a guy from, his name is Depressed Ginger off my channel. And then I saw a local news report uh, either on Google or uh, KLAS, one of those two channels. You could look it up yourself. All right, uh, I did made a video yesterday about the A's are, have announced that they're going to come here, okay, publicly. And a lot of people are not happy about it. There's some people that are rejoice, okay, uh, particularly like uh, people that like baseball here that lived in Las Vegas. I like baseball myself. I watch baseball more uh, at the end of the year or close to the end of the year when they get in the playoffs. Uh, I played even baseball myself. Actually, my mom got me into baseball when I was a kid before I started playing basketball. About when I was 9 to 11 years old, I played first base. I hit something like 300, and then I used to steal bases. I was a calculated risk taker when it came to stealing bases. But I didn't make the all-star team a couple of times because I had a bad attitude. So later on, I ended up playing basketball, and I played for a very long time. But back to the subject here with baseball, all right? So it's kind of like a bittersweet thing, okay? And it's a disaster in Oakland because it's kind of sad to see them lose all three of their organizations. The basketball team went to San Francisco. The football team came here. And now it's the A's. Now, I was told back in 2015 that the A's were staying. But probably because the things like the economy – with all that this com commerce and tourism that, that are coming that, that came here and just with COVID and the way that that team, the A's are being managed, you know, it's probably one of the things that's the best interest to make Las Vegas his newest start, his new start. All right. Now, that being said, the president of the Las Vegas A's had announced that Las Vegas is going to be they're going to be here for a couple of years before they build the, uh, the stadium is built, which is, I said yesterday, it's on Dean Martin on Tropicana. Okay, I have yet I'm going to go over there to that site and I'm going to do a video on that when I I get the opportunity to do so. But the temporary spot is going to be at Las Vegas a Aviators Ballpark out there in Summerlin. Okay, and when I heard about that, I'm going to get out there too to do a video uh, on that. Uh, on that particular park as well. They're going to start that. They're proposing to come here in 2025 to play at that minor league baseball park where the ABA display temporarily. All right. Now, this stadium has 10,000 seats, but they have a capacity to make it 12,000. Okay. Right now, as we speak. Now, what they could do and what I think that they probably will do is Usually, let's say baseball is about maybe at the most if a team is really good, maybe a little bit more than half capacity, okay? For example, if there's probably 35,000 seats, you may have 17,000, okay, or 18 during if a team is really good until they get into the, the playoffs. Then you'll have more people show up because of all the games. You have 81 home or 82 home games, something like that, all right? What I think that may happen – is they may bump that up to maybe about 17, 18,000, okay? Being that they could get 12,000. The outfield, and man, they got like a, they have a huge outfield. I believe the left and right corners, okay, are 360, and then the center field corner is 415 feet, probably because of altitude. But what I think, what I think they may do is in the outfield, they may increase that. Maybe to about maybe another seven or eight thousand. I don't know, five to seven thousand. Okay, they may increase it to between seventeen to twenty thousand people. Okay, and that would probably make sense to do that anyway. Particularly like if let's say the uh, the Rangers, if they want to do their spring camp here in Las Vegas. Okay, at that park. Okay, but I, I probably could see them doing at least. The, uh, the A's 
doing at least 5,000, okay? They put those seats and bleachers in the outfield, okay? Uh, and that'll work. And that way they can get, you know, more ticket sales or they can leave it the way it is and, you know, they can up up, up the ticket prices, okay? But I speculate they're, they, they're, they're going to maybe expand that, you know, the seating a little bit in the outfield of that stadium. Like I said, we'll get over there. I'll show you what it looks like. It's a new park. It was built actually in 2000, like 18 or 19. Okay, so it's still new. All right, still new. So, so uh, that, and again, if I didn't say it, I'm gonna say it again. That is gonna happen in 2025. All right, there was also talk about the team playing in, you know, the same uh, field that the, what is that team out there? The Giants play, but the fan base is busted, okay? And that was done purposely. The owner and the uh, general manager and all that, to tank the team, okay? To have fans, you know, to quit coming. What they should have done, I, I, I think they didn't give this any thought or they should start giving it a thought, okay, is keep a mixture of a few veterans, okay, that just want to kind of play and draft at the same time. But they want to, they do want to start fresh. Well, why didn't they just, why didn't they just uh, just keep some, some older guys, pay them less, and then bring in new players? So when they do come here, when the stadium's done 2027, 20, those newer guys, they'll be ready to play, okay? But particularly if they're going to come, you know, to Las Vegas, so that way they can be able to keep a decent fanfare, okay? With some older guys, maybe with some names that you like, okay, or, or, or of some older guys. Hopefully they'll catch their snap before that, that happens. They'll kind of, you know, double back on the decision a little bit. So we'll see what happens on that part. But they have a temporary home, y'all, for the most part. They will play in the Aviators ballpark in summer. And I'm looking forward to a game, okay? The last uh, usable year of that stadium out there in Oakland is 2024. So let me know what you think about the video there. I thank you for your time. Like, subscribe, share, cash app, dollar sign, Winston Spivey if you want to donate.